news from Ukraine. Ukrainian forces say they have destroyed a large Russian ship in the Russian-occupied port of Verdansk. You can see the explosion there and a fire raging dockside with plumes of smoke shooting into the air. I want to go to CNN's Frederick Plekin now, who joins us from Kyiv, where mm -hmm. Ukrainian forces also say they've made gains in recent days. This now, the port, Fred, just another example of some of the success they say they've been having. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and, and, and certainly this... Uh the destruction of that ship in that port, in the port of Berdyansk, uh, for the Ukrainians is really a very big success. It's actually quite interesting because I was actually in that port, um, I think it was in November of last year, because the Ukrainians were actually thinking of uh, redoing that port and making it bigger for their own navy, but obviously now the Russians uh, have moved into there. And if you look at that ship, it's a it's a landing ship. It's something that the Russians use to, to land troops and infrastructure uh, vehicles also on beaches, but of course then also in ports as well. Essentially what that is is a military cargo ship. It's not a ship that shoots at other ships. It has some weapons for, for uh, self-defense, but uh, in total it's a ship that transport weapons. And if you look at the big plume of smoke there, it certainly seems as though there was some gear on that ship. It can take tanks, it can take armored vehicles, it can transport munitions. And it does seem as though this is a big blow for the, the Russian military there in, uh, in, in Berdyansk, uh, and really one where the Ukrainians are saying they believe it's a big success. Of course, Berdyansk is an interesting place in itself. It's a port town, uh, one where obviously the Russians are looking to resupply their forces from, and it's on the way to Mariupol, which of course has been under siege for such a very long uh, period of time. So it's a big blow to the Russians. And if I can say one more thing, John, because I think this might, might also be interesting as well, Having been in that port and seen that port, I think if the Ukrainians manage to destroy that ship and if it's laying destroyed in that port, it might be difficult for the Russians to bring a lot of other ships in there as well. It looks to us as though that port facility in itself is not one that's very wide or very big. So that could be a logistical problem for the Russians going forward also. And it really does show, Fred, that in these areas of red on the map where we said that Russian troops have been operating, it doesn't necessarily mean they're in full control. It doesn't necessarily mean... The Ukrainians can't make some gains there. Our Frederick Plankin in Kyiv.